In this video, we're going to look at um, more with slope. Uh, one thing we're going to be doing is continuing practicing writing equations of tangent lines to this particular cubic graph I have here. The second thing we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be finding points on the graph given a designated rate of change, a designated slope. So two, two main ideas here. So let's first continue reviewing writing equations of tangent lines to this graph. So um, as best I could, I tried to sketch this cubic graph on a negative 5 to 5 and a negative 10 to 10 window. Um, I've labeled the maximum as 0, 1 and the minimum as 2, negative 7. Uh, if you wanted to verify on your own calculator, you could enter this into Y1 graph, find the max and the min. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is write an equation of a tangent line to this graph at a specified X value. So let's look at our first example here. Well, let's pick on x equals 3. So just kind of using the graph as a visual to help us understand what we're doing. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Uh, perhaps about right here on the graph, maybe off a little bit due to my sketch, but it appears that when x is 3, I might be somewhere located about right here. Well, um, first thing is when we are asked to write an equation of the tangent line to the graph at this value, uh, you might want to be thinking about what kind of slope you should be getting. and. Uh, the graph is increasing, so the rate of change will be positive. Um, so I should be getting a positive slope. All right, so to write an equation, kind of looking at the clues here, write an equation. Well, right there we know we need point slope to help us with our work. So what we're looking for is the slope at x equals 3 of the graph, which we said was positive. Okay, And then we also need a point. Well, we're only given 3. We're given the x-coordinate of 3. So for us to find uh, the y-coordinate, we're going to have to evaluate in the original given equation, the function uh, 3. All right, so we have a little bit of work to do. So to get the slope, we're going to use calculus, the derivative. So let's work with our function. All right, using our shortcut rules here sum and difference rule and power rule, we see that the derivative would be 6x squared minus 12x and uh, the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay, so at this point we have the derivative. Um, what that does for us is it allows us to find the slope of the graph at x equals 3. So let's evaluate the derivative at 3. Okay, performing the calculations here, I have 54 minus 36. So I think 54 minus 36 is 18. So uh, let's just kind of look at that number and look at it in relationship to the graph. The graph is pretty steep right here, so it does make sense that the slope would be uh, positive 18. Am I finished? No. Okay, the next thing I'm going to want to do is get the y-coordinate. So let's go to the original function and evaluate it at x equals 3. So f of 3 equals, uh, that's a cube there, so that's uh, 54, that's 27 times 2 is 54 minus 54 plus 1. Okay, so what I can see from my graph is that I'm off quite a bit. At 3, at x equals 3, my y coordinates should be 1, so this graph should actually be coming up closer, hitting here at 3, and then the graph should be above the x-axis when x is 3. So. Um, just trying to use my rough sketch here. Uh, but we do have all the things that we need to write the equation of the tangent line. I'll go into point slope. Okay, and if you think about this as being x sub 1 and this is your y sub 1, uh, y minus 1, 
equals 18 times quantity x minus 3. And to solve for y, we'll just add the 1 to the other side. Unless there's another reason, there's, there's, there's really no sense in distributing the 18. Um, that's the equation of the tangent line, y equals, not y prime, uh, but just y. y equals is an equation of a line. So that's one of the things that we've been working with, is writing an equation of a tangent line uh, through this process. Okay. Let's look at something else we might be able to do. Okay. Instead of writing an equation um, of a tangent line to this graph, let's now find points on this graph having a designated slope. So let's find the points on f of x with a slope of 0. And if we just think about that for a moment, if we think about what that means um, to find a, the point or points on this function with the slope of zero, let's use the graph to help us. If your slope or rate of change is zero, that would indicate that you are perhaps at a uh, maximum or at a minimum. Um, and we're going to see other, uh, another situation where the slope could also be zero. We're not limited to being at a maximum or a minimum, um, as we'll see in, in a future lesson. Okay, but we have a pretty good visual, and I'm thinking there's going to be two different locations, points uh, with the slope of zero. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the maximum zero, one, and the minimum two, negative seven. But how would our work, if we did not have a graph, how would our work look? Okay, well, let's look back at the question. Find the points, x and y coordinates, on this function with a slope of zero. Well, that to me indicates I need to find a derivative and then actually set the derivative equal to the value of zero. We're not going to plug 0 in for x, because that would mean that we're finding the slope of the graph at 0. So for this particular example, let's find the derivative and set it equal to 0. Okay. Again, like I said, we don't want to evaluate at zero. We don't want to write the equation of the tangent line at zero. So in this case, we're going to allow the slope, or f prime, to be equal to zero. So substituting that in here. Okay. Now we have an equation. Remember the ultimate objective here is to find the x and y coordinates at which the slope is zero. Okay, well, using our algebra background, okay, let's factor this. Pull out a 6x. Check your work real quick by distributing. Do I get back to what I had? I sure did. How do we continue solving this? Well, we know that this product is zero, so either the factor 6x is zero, or the factor x minus two is zero. So either x is zero, dividing both sides by six. Okay, that should be equal zero. Um, or here, solving this, we have x equals two. So uh, now be real careful, 0, 2 is not the ordered pair that has a slope of 0. What this is saying is that at the x-coordinate of 0 on this graph, we have a 0 slope. And if you could look back up at the graph, you can see that that does confirm visually with what we were thinking. Also, when x equals 2, okay, if you go over here to the graph where x is 2 and find your way down to the graph, uh, it appears the slope of the graph there is also 0. So um, we did find two x-coordinates, so that means we need two points, two ordered pairs. So one of the solutions will be 0, f at 0, whatever that y-coordinate is. Okay, and the other ordered pair will be 2, comma, the function evaluated at 2. All right, so for this point right here, when x is 0, let's go to the original function. Okay, and let's evaluate at 0 to find f of 0. So 0, 0, 1. Okay, so one of the points will be 0, 1. And that makes sense. That's our maximum. The rate of change we know there is 0. Okay, so coming over here, let's go ahead and evaluate the original function at 2 to get the y-coordinate. So avoiding writing down the equation again, I'm just going to evaluate it at 2.
All right, performing the necessary calculations, um, I'm hoping that what we end up with is a negative 7. So this would be 16 minus 24, which is negative 8, plus one more is negative 7, and that does confirm with what we saw up there as far as a minimum is concerned. So another ordered pair point having a zero slope is 2, negative 7. All right, continuing um, with this same graph, transitioning to another question, um, we're going to be asked to find the point or points on this graph where the slope of this graph is negative 6. Uh, so before I scroll down, let's just kind of get our thoughts around that. Where does this graph have a slope of negative 6? Where's the slope of the graph negative 6? Well, it has to be somewhere from where x equals 0 to x equals 2. It has to be somewhere here where the graph is decreasing because the slopes will all be negative here. So we know that the x-coordinate should be somewhere between 0 and 2. So it kind of gives us something to uh, aim for. So let's see how the work um, would appear to find that. Okay, same process as last time. Let's uh, find the derivative. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut to that since we're working with the same function. Uh, the derivative is 6x squared minus 12x. Okay, and at this point I want to find where the slope is negative 6. So I don't want to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals negative 6. I want to find out when this value equals negative 6. Okay, leaning back on our algebra, uh, we have to solve this equation for x, and the correct way to do that with this quadratic is to solve for 0, so add the 6 to the other side. Okay, at this point your options are to try and factor, solve by completing the square, the quadratic formula. Um, I'm going to try the factoring approach first. Um, but to help me with my work, I'm going to make these numbers a little bit easier to work with, so I'm going to factor out the common factor of 6. And I can easily see that that does factor. Okay, I think I'm going to have to head over here. and that will factor into x minus 1 times itself. Setting each factor equal to 0, well 6 will never equal 0, so we don't have an x coordinate resulting from that, and either x minus 1 or the other x minus 1 is 0. So what that tells me is, when I add the 1, that the uh, point on the graph where the slope is negative 6 uh, would be, have an x coordinate of 1, which that confirms with what we saw visually. We knew that when the graph was decreasing from 0 to 2, um, that the slopes would be negative there. And so that matches up with what we have. Okay, we're not finished because it asks us to not just find the x value on the function with the slope of negative 6, but the word that we want to pay attention to is the point. Well, that's just the x coordinate, so let's go ahead and um, find the function evaluated at 1. So 2 minus 6 plus 1. 2 minus 6, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Or it might be just as easy to um, 2 plus 1 getting 3, 3 minus 6, which is uh, negative 3. So the point on the graph having a slope of negative 6 would be 1, negative 3. And uh, it, it confirms with what we had seen earlier. So I just wanted to continue looking at slope with you and some of the, some of the things that we may be asked to um, solve with regard to, to a function and the derivative and slopes.